The next exercise is called raising the heels and bending backwards seven times and all of your diseases will disappear. This is based on strengthening the kidneys and the endocrine system in particular. When the kidneys are strong, the endocrine system is strong. When the endocrine system is strong, everything else is pretty much strong. You know, when we were younger and our hormones were raging, you fall down, you get up, you dust yourself off, you're not even barely, you don't even barely notice it. Whereas, you know, you, now you can pull a muscle blowing your nose. So, uh, it's very important to keep these fluids and hormones and anti-inflammatories and, you know, endorphins that kill pain and all these things need to be at the proper levels, which will keep the body strong and healthy. Um, every Qi Gong, as far as I'm concerned, can have an opponent, uh, a component to it rather that will stimulate the kidney, whether it's through the kidney one point or the Yong Chuan in the, the uh, ball of the foot or the bladder 23 or Shen Shu point on the back or the external of the kidneys rubbing, massaging the ears, for example or just in the rocking actions or stepping actions where if our knee is in the correct position, it'll press on the kidney one point. Um, and then there's just exercises like, for example, even this one where I'm arching my back and I'm bending forward and this bending of the body helps to mechanically massage the kidneys and adrenals. So um, there's a lot of components to all of these. This one in particular, you're, what you're going to do is if you make a fist where the middle finger touches in the fist between these two bones is Lao Gong or pericardium eight. This is where we can let energy out into our kidneys. The point where we're going to let it into is bladder 23 or the Shen Shu point, which is one and a half Kun lateral to the spinal, spinous process of L2 at the high point of the paraspinal muscles on either side of the spine. A, a coin is the distance from here to here on your middle finger. Okay, there's other ways of measuring cones. You could Google that if you want. The word is kun, C-U-N. So one and a half cone. It's also one and a half cone, uh, you know, it's lateral to the um, Mingmun point. Um, which is another important point in Qigong. So this exercise, in the title it says, bending back seven times. There are seven of these. Everyone except for this one and number four are done eight times. This one and number four have the number seven in the title so that you can discern them easily. Um, some people do this where they just barely bring their heels up. Um, I look to nature as my guide, which Mr. Chan always told us to. And you draw in your kidney energy for a number of reasons. Uh, when your kidneys are, strong, are, are weak, your teeth will start to go, your bones will thin, your hearing will go, uh, your knees will go, your lower back will ache, you'll have scanty urine where you're not urinating at a strong, uh, you know, volume of urine. It'll be a, a thinner stream and it'll be paler in color. Um, all of these things are indicative of a kidney indeficiency, which happens due to a lot of stress, um, abuse of one's sexual energies, any kind of thing that'll affect the mind in terms of drugs will also affect the kidneys. So, you know, smoking marijuana will cause a kidney indeficiency. Taking painkillers, opiates will cause a kidney indeficiency. So you want to keep the kidneys strong. This is an exercise I don't recommend skipping. <clears throat> Anyhow, we start in a natural position. Exhale and step out, inhaling up to the opening. I then lower the hands guided by the eyes prop at the bottom and I 
inhale, letting the hands rest by the side. And I exhale because the body closes in the front when you exhale. So that helps me to bring the hands up the back easier than to be doing it with a full breath. So I exhale and bring the hands up to those points, roughly about the level of your elbow when your arm is hanging, okay? I then am going to pull my chin in a little bit to make sure I'm not defecting my posture, okay? So this will be done, I'll exhale to come here and then I'll just start to inhale. I will come up on my toes more than a lot of people will because this is what we do in nature when we're trying to draw in this energy. So we inhale, arch in the back, looking up, not more than 45 degrees, and then exhale. Lowering the heel and closing. Now my weight shifted back and I inhale. So I'm completing the seventh now. As I complete the exhalation and I close, I release the arms and let them drop down and then I inhale back to a, a natural position. Then I exhale, gazing down and inhaling, bringing the hands up and closing. 